welcome to part two of the Journal Finder tutorial. This video will focus specifically on the browsing integration. I did mention the browsing integration in video one when talking about the different features in the Journal Finder and in a JetBind search. So in the Journal Finder, you will see a link that says View Journal and Browsing. And if you're looking at an article in JetFind, you'll see two options, one to download PDF and one to view complete issue. Going back to the library's webpage, we'll click on the journals eJournals button to be brought into the journal finder. And then this time I will search for art therapy. This third one in the search result is the one I'm looking for. I could click the title to get more information, or I can click the link right here that says view journal and browsing to get brought into browsing. Now there's a whole other uh, tutorial for browsing. It's also mentioned on some of our libguides. So if you want more information about navigating browsing, please see those resources. For the purposes of this video, we're really focusing on that link from the journal finder. And in browsing, anything that is uh, highlighted blue for years, volumes, or issues, those are things that the library currently has access to. And every once in a while, you'll see this link on the left that says new articles, and it'll say something like articles in press or upcoming articles. For any of the articles, uh, you can download PDF, link to it, save it, export the citation, or share it. If you click on the title of an article, if you're off campus, you will have to sign in. Browsing will link you directly to whichever database or collection or subscription we have where we get that article. You can view it uh, in HTML, which is the web version, or you can click on PDF to open up the PDF version. So that's the view journal and browsing link. If instead uh, you were looking at articles, so I'm going to stick with the same journal, I'll just do a search here, but this will come up in any JetFind search. You can see that there are some options right here. So again, if I click the title, I'll get more information about the article and its different access points. But if I click download PDF, it'll just bring me right there. It doesn't uh, matter which database it's in, the browsing integration will find the best version and pull it up for you. Or if you wanted to see other articles that would be related to this one because they were published in the same issue from Art Therapy, you would click View Complete Issue. And once again, that'll take you into browsing, but it'll take you to the article, which is right here, Finding Buddha, and it'll take you into that specific volume and issue, which was from 2020, and it was volume 37, issue one. So that is the way that uh, the different integrations, the browsing integrations work in JetFind and in the Journal Finder. And another nice feature is if we don't have access to something because there's an embargo period, like in the Peabody Journal of Education, I can still click on View Journal and Browsing. The page will just look a little bit different. So it tells me up top, there's no full text available after 2013. And you can see over here, the volumes and issues are grayed and there is a lock icon for everything that comes after 2013. What I can do is I can still browse, I can still look at titles. And if there was something I wanted to see if the library could get for me, I click on the title, browsing will think about it for a second. I click request this item and then I'm brought into Jet find to see the, the article's record page or search result page, and I can click the link to request from interlibrary loan. You do need an interlibrary loan account set up already, but then once you log in, browsing will automatically populate all of this information so that you can submit your request and get your article. This concludes video two of the Journal Finder tutorial.